And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Sin combining Twisted Fate and Lee Sin. Another uh, good looking deck from Twitch Rivals yesterday. This was Evangelion as well, same person that made the Spider Swain deck that we just got done playing. Um, this deck's all about casting lots and lots of spells. And we have a, a bunch of payoffs for that. You know, of course, Eye of the Dragon. Uh, Claws of the Dragon, both of those want you to play two spells a turn. And then just our champions, like Lee Sin, you really want to have a whole lot of spells for you, right? Like you want to be able to play two spells each turn, be able to give this barrier whenever it's in combat. And then as far as casting spells go, you want to be able to draw lots of cards, of course, for Twisted Fate. And so that's what we have here with like the pick a card, drawing lots of cards. Uh, deep meditation drawing those cards salvage drawing those cards so we can we can get our card draw in with twisted fate and that just gives us more and more um spells to play really uh the key guardians are pretty interesting key guardian is it's a combo with claws of the dragon your opponent attacks out you play some burst speed spell and then you play key guardian grant barrier to the claws of the dragon and then Claws of the Dragon just comes down with Barrier, and then you get to block. Um, that's, so that's a pretty nice combo. And then you can also use, you know, Key Guardian on, you know, like these other things like Lee Sin and stuff like that as well. Looks to be pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, so let's just give it a try. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see how we do. What do you think, puppy? Puppy's really camera shy, as you can tell. She's not big on looking at uh, the computer screens. Hey, Ryan. Yeah, doing well, doing well. Let's see. Vi Heimerdinger. Do I even want j turn one jailbreak? Probably not. Let's look for more impactful things. There we go. Cards look better. Hmm. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Oh yeah, yeah, this game's a lot of fun. Yeah, I love this game. I definitely recommend it. It's just so balanced and uh, fair. I love the back and forth of like each each person does stuff every turn. Love the mana situation that they have with like the spell mana and everything too. It's a very well put together game. I really mean like balances in like both players have lots of stuff to do and um, have really good chances to win every single game. You don't just have like huge blowouts and things like that. Yeah, those cards are good. Yepu says, I, Yepu says, I normally don't like card games that have anything to do with mana, but I love Runeterra. What, what, what else is there for card games that don't have anything to do with mana? Is that maybe, I think, does Yu-Gi-Oh not have anything to do with mana, maybe? Because, of course, the... The obvious ones of like magic and hearthstone those have to deal with mana worth it to play pocket aces 
Probably not. Okay, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. I've never played Yu-Gi-Oh before, as you could probably tell. Guardian, uh, <clears throat> the twist of fate. And then, uh, I was planning on gold card, but honestly, you know what? Let's just blue card. Let's just draw. Get more cards. Eyes open. Cards are good. Tread lightly, strike hard. Yeah, so I have the backup Twisted Fate, so I don't I don't feel like I need to protect this one as much now. Yeah, now now that we just drew the, the second Twisted Fate. Where like before, like last turn I could have played Twisted Fate, but I couldn't pro couldn't protect it and I didn't have another one. If I attack with my Twisted Fate, I'm, like, priced into playing the Pocket Aces on it. And then I have to play Pocket Aces, and then they use removal, then I have to deny. It's just a bunch of have to. Um, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. I don't like this one bit. And Will of Ionia is just not a very good card against Time Reading Her. This is my this is my first game with the deck that we're playing right now. My most groundbreaking invention to date. <laughs> Gives me a new Twisted Fate. It's the to be able to use and do one damage to everything. I don't need to play the Key Guardian on the Twisted Fate. Because um, we can just do that next turn. We can draw our card and have some more information and everything. That two mana is not going anywhere. So yeah, we definitely want to get rid of the Heimerdinger, and I think this is my, my best way of getting rid of the Heimerdinger is Lee Sin. And since we didn't spend that two mana, I still do have mana for Deny if they have Bounce Bell.
screw shot barrage. Man, if they have that with deny backup, that's gonna be rough. Also, for those of y'all newer to the channel, with the Hawk type bot, you can you can type exclamation point card, and then type the card name or close to it, you know, like true shot, and you can see what the card does. So if you you know if you're like wondering about a card, you want to look it up super fast. That's something you can do in chat. Well, we're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, streaming's not the easiest thing to do of, of playing, you know, focus on the game and also read and, and talk. But that's, yeah, that's what I do. That's what we're doing here. So we need to cast three spells to level up Lee Sin to do four damage to kill Heimerdinger. Or I just play a pocket aces, I guess. Yeah, I guess I guess we just do that. Conflict is all in the mind. My lands need prepare yourself. Yeah, and then hopefully we get to twisted fate for the board clear. No. Fortunate. But it's not like not really a board clear because they just play new things. Heimerdinger is awesome. <laughs> just all these free turrets. That card is awesome. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the turrets could cost like one mana, and and uh, that card would not be too good. Or that sorry, that the card would not be bad. Like it'd still be very good. Thing is, is now I can't. I can't play pocket aces now. Game's just over. Rain from a cloudless sky. Mm. Next card was gonna be burst speed. So I could have played that plus the key guardian during their turn and surprise blocked with barrier. A Lucian Vi Bannerman deck. I've seen a lot of Fiora Vi Bannerman. I haven't really seen Lucian Vi Bannerman. That was kind of like on my list of decks to maybe play today was Fiora Vi. I went with the Scout Aggro instead. You think you'd rather see Lucian Vi over... Lucian instead of Fiora for the Bannerman deck. Oh, okay. Mogwai played a Lucian Vi. Okay. Yeah, I hadn't seen 
Lucian Vi basically just seeing Fiora. So. Yeah, Lucian Lucian would definitely be difficult to level up. Um, you know, you'd you'd be playing Senna's and you'd have single combat with Senna as well, where you can single combat away Senna. Red strike hard. You act, but do not see. Yes, I can bounce that, but it's really to what end? Like we don't we don't have any chance of, of winning. Let's just move on to the next game. It's kind of been my experience with Lee Sin though, as we saw that game, is that Lee Sin is just kind of too expensive and and it's when you compare it to all the stuff that Heimerdinger did and me play Lee Sin and it gets bounced. I don't know. Like when you compare the two. Lee Sin looks pretty silly. And I'm not fully convinced that Lee Sin is better than Karma. Yeah, I guess I would have got Deny out of their hand if I would have bounced Time Ridinger. Would have got denied, but the the problem with like bounce Heimerdinger is that yeah you know like they they did have the deny because they played it the next turn and well, they would have gotten deny out of their hand they would have had that four one in turn earlier I mean I never cast my will of Ionia so I mean might as well have. This this deck I'm playing just doesn't have removal. We can't. I don't. I don't know if this deck really, basically ever beats Heimerdinger. If you can't kill it with Leeson, because Heimerdinger just outgrinds. Like you can't. You can't outgrind Heimerdinger with just regular cards. It's not. Not really possible. So I'm not saying that that necessarily any one of the control um, champions are too good. You know, when you think of Twisted Fate, Heimerdinger, Karma, Lux, Ezreal. Breathe in, breathe out. You know, I guess I guess you could you could put Vi in there if you want. But basically, so it's not not necessarily it's not really that any of those are too good necessarily, but they're just all like any any individual one. But they're all really, really good compared to like your your mid range champions. They're all very powerful and just and just control decks in general are therefore everywhere. And I wonder I wonder what it would be like if if you know, just as a collective if those champions were less powerful if there wasn't as much control. Like I'd I just don't know, you know. I'm not saying that, like, any individual one of those cards is, like, it's too good, it has to be nerfed. But I kind of want the cards in general to be nerfed. Those cards.
you know, because we're playing control, we just played against control, playing against control again. Say, much over half of your matches are against control, or at least they are in in Master's rank. Just kind of what everybody does is play control. It seems like. All right. So anyway, back to our game. Just kind of me thinking aloud. Uh, back to the game. So, of course, I want to play as many things as possible. This Thresh is just a problem, though. But I want to play as many things as possible for um, getting the three cards. Alright, I'm going to just start with that. Okay, good. Glad to start with something cheap. I guess the problem here is that I guess this doesn't actually resolve, does it? So we don't get to draw the card off EB Warren, because yeah, this That happens first. So obviously I wanted to make that uh you know, I wanted to do that first and then red card, have that die draw card. I have to do that outside of combat, so otherwise they they make blocker. They uh, use it as a blocker. What is gained when you return malevolence? Yeah, when you level up Twisted Fate, it's it's pretty ridiculous. The value you get. Ooh, what's this clause of the dragon gonna do if I don't have room to summon it? Just, it just disappears? Well, that's rough. I kind of wanted to do that for science and just see what happened. Just burns away? Yeah, that's, that's what y'all are telling me was going to happen. Well, that's rough. So remember, Twisted Fate is leveled up, so even if they, you know, kill this Twisted Fate... I just have I have the other one in hand that will be leveled up. in time. Opponents are rendered. It was in the cards. Okay, one on one. What regions and champions would you pair with Lucian for maximum synergy? Uh, Shadow Isles and Callista. For maximum synergy.
and I have that kind of deck here. It's a little, it's a little old, but you can check out that Callista Lucian deck. Is Will of Ionia good against these things? I mean, I guess. Oh, this feels like this is going to be rough. If they have a like, if they have early Maokai and toss a whole lot, you know, like level up Maokai fast, I'm basically dead. Yeah, I think it'd be cool if Senna was a champion. Senna would be cool as a champion. Give Senna some cool ability. Yeah, Dr. Grindel, yeah. You can always post deck list links. No problem there. <laughs> I haven't seen that one, Pasty. But we had a we had a, a deck like that yesterday that was awesome. Uh, we had Pirate Lux. And I'll link that. So basically not not Twisted Fate, we were playing Lux, but yeah, Unyielding Spirit with Powder Kegs. Especially watch that first game that we played yesterday with that uh, Pirate Lux deck. That first game was awesome. Forgot to do that stuff. Danger paid. Yeah, but then yeah, Senna would take your champion slot, but you would so you wouldn't get another champion, but that would also be assuming that you would be giving um, Sen has some other cool abilities as well. So I'm kind of saving these key guardians. Like, there are ways to draw cards. You know, we want to be able to draw eight cards with Twisted Fate and play. And there are also ways to, like, play two spells for, for these things for later. What's up with the dialogue between Lucian, Thresh, and Senna? I think... I don't know, did Thresh, like, kill Senna or something? I don't know. They, they have a big backstory. That's, like, the art of the cards. You know, like, if you look at... Uh, the cards, they... You know, like, Senna's in the Thresh art. And stuff like that. Oh, okay, Thrush did kill Senna. That's that's a bummer. I fight with my spirit, not my So I used the spell mana so that we could attune. Get that back. Kind of have, like, you know, these two, depending on what they do. And then we'll probably play the other Key Guardian also. And then we'll have two mana Deep Meditation next turn. Killed Senna and locked her soul in his lantern, and then she later escapes. How do you die and then escape? All right, so Will of Ionia or Deny. Which one are we doing? Kind 
like Will of Ionia, force them to keep... Kind of like... Re Will of Ionia replay that thing. And I can do that again. Breathe in, breathe out. You know, I want them to spend... You know, that's how they spend their six mana. Now this time do we deny? Do this first. Hmm. So now I have two denies. Like How do I actually win the game? Oh, I guess Twisted Fate does stuff. That's how I win. Just Twisted Fate does stuff. It's not a bad way to win the game. Twisted Fate's on a hot streak. Hmm. Nah, we don't have a will left for not not a not a list, but we have we have gold cards from Twisted Fate. Sorry, you're waiting on me. My bad. Sure. It's a good thing to do that before the red card. Guess if you want something to die from Alkai. Alright, I'll admit this this could be a problem. Uh this could be a problem. problem. Just the whole, they cost four less. I was also kind of, you know, going under the assumption that they were going to devour the depths again that turn. need to get Lee Sin in play to help me win this game. Shall we 
I do wish I had one more mana. No, my claws of the dragon goes away. I should have shuffled that. Right. Claws fizzles. Oh no. Alright, so new, new Twist of Fate will be leveled up. Play Lee Sin this turn. No, I don't get to. So let's plan on playing Lee Sin, getting the spell mana from the blue card, and then playing the Jailbreak uh, to give Lee Sin Challenger, and then you know be able to like hit the Nautilus. All right, let's see. All right, down to 10. <laughs> that Nautilus is almost dead. Nautilus is almost dead. All right, so we're gonna have to like concussive palm, concussive palm. Like, I don't know how, how I'm gonna do eight damage to them before this, before I die to this Maokai, mill me out. I mean it. I mean, I guess it's all about Lee Sin, right? Like, we need, we need Lee Sin in play attacking. I'm just not going to get a gold card this turn. It's okay. You 
I need to cl clean up my battlefield anyway. We can just throw away a 3-2. Knots at eight, eight HP now. We gonna do it. All right, I do have deny mana. I will not hold back. Eyes open. I think we can do this. You know, getting to untap with lease in there, and having deny up. You know, like they didn't have any removal. I was like the Nautilus isn't gonna kill kill me. Whoa. Whoa. Where am I at? Three cards left. Oh, I guess Maokai level up doesn't even matter. <laughs> oh man, all these things are slow. Yeah, challenging the Nautilus looks kind of silly right now. Or not. So challenging the 1 1. Challenging the 1 1 looks kind of silly right now. All these things are so. So one mana. Or so slow. Yeah, so slow. No, if I would have denied. I mean, same thing. Deny, like, I, I get red card. Red card. Um, kills the 1-1. One, one. Yeah, challenging the 1-1. One, one. Not looking like the best idea. I just want parlays. Like, why do we have Jailbreak and Yee be warned? Why don't we have parlay? Two cards left. I don't know, it may just be your internet grease. I don't know. Eyes open. Is anybody else lagging? I will not hold back. Yeah, so I, I don't know, Grease. I think it's just on... Okay, so yeah, I think it's just on your end. I don't...
can't even play those cards. I can't draw cards. Basically can't play things. Ugh, one card left. I could go straight to attacks. They block these other three things. Gosh. Ugh. Sweet. Good thing we had that one card left <laughs> to draw with the blue card. My opponent didn't even, you know, level up Maokai. <laughs> I'd like put more cards back into our deck if they level up Maokai. Alright, GG's, two and one. Okay, Grease, good. So you, it's working out 720p. So yeah, just something, something with your internet, I guess. It's just not supporting the 1080 right now. Ooh. Okay, I got thumbnail for Spider Swain. Let me get this thumbnail for Spider Swain. So I need to just put up a couple of thumbnails for my last two videos. been impressed with like this one mana put a one this jailbreak card i haven't liked this jailbreak card i mean it's it's easier to play like to turn on twisted fate i guess than than parlay like you can always play it but i feel like parlay just has the opportunity to do a lot more than just a crappy random one cost follower Yeah, I understand the the playing the before whenever we're playing Lee Sin's Dragon Kick, I was reshuffling Lee Sin into my deck. I understand. What's up, Roby? Thanks for keeping that sub going. 13 awesome months. 
Silver Goods is so good. That's what our deck's missing. Why aren't we playing Pilfer Goods? That card is great. All right, so not looking great. Hesitation to tell. I got a lot of my cards over there. And not the bad ones. I have the bad ones in hand. These crappy jailbreaks. This key guardian. Jewel protector looks kind of like nonsense also. Bunch of nonsense in hand. Well, it's taking their time. Okay, take the two. It's been a tough choice. Now let's think about what we're gonna do next. Probably still a tough choice. All right, cool, thanks, Pasty. Yeah, I'll save that. What they do before this? A deep meditation. Honestly, want to play this? Pick a card. But I don't think we can. Just have nothing to do. The reason why the whole the reason why I say I don't think we can is because if they kill this twisted fate, then I won't have another one. I'll just play this thing because we do something. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna have more of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unyielding powder kegs is really sweet, but then yeah, whenever they play Will of Ionia, it's sad. <laughs> That's definitely sad. There's a bunch of good cards. Sorry, Will of Ionias. Draw <laughs> three cards that cost 14 mana, of course. Yeah, I could deny and try to protect Twisted Fate, try to level it up, but that's pretty difficult to do. All they have to do is one damage. And then I lose out on, you know, the Lee Sin also. I, I'm just going to play the Lee Sin.
Man, this opponent's playing so slow. I play pretty slow, though. I can't... You should, probably shouldn't complain. Um, no, you do not have to... No. This, okay, so the question is, in the second tier of Shadow Isles rewards, it has like that picture of Maokai. So the question is, do you have to use Maokai to get those rewards, or do you get Maokai when you reach that point? No, neither. It's just Maokai is the new... Like, that's like the new region, and Maokai is the new champion, so they just kind of have like that art to just kind of showcase Maokai. But no, you don't have to have... The actual rewards have nothing to do with Maokai. So it looks like they stole all my deep meditations. What is gained when you return malevolence? Hey, Nick. My lads need me. Prepare yourself. I think that's the, is that like their sixth deep meditation to play? These are played one, two, three. Four. Okay, fourth. It's their fourth. Seemed ridiculous, though. I'm always up for a round or two. I'm not gonna use my deny on that. Do you have to play seven spells to level up, or do you have to play seven uh, deep meditations? Pretty sure they're leveled up either way. Yeah, these jewel protectors look pretty silly. I guess I'm supposed to play it before Twisted Fate. Yeah, 
is taking forever. Alright, let's go on to the next game, where we actually get to play cards. That was, like, that was definitely my least favorite game of the day. That was, like, one of my least favorite games I've ever played. The cards we drew were terrible. My opponent took all my good cards and played a million deep meditations and just had a million cards. And did all that very, very slowly. So it took forever. But yeah, I've not been impressed with some of these one mana spells. Alright, playing another control deck. Uh, for our fifth match. We are... Five for five playing control decks, I guess, depending on what you think of, like, the Deep Sea deck. I mean, that's, you know, that's a deck that all it does is try to get to the super late game and win the real late game. Skill and grace to tear your breath away. The dragon remembers. <laughs> so, you know, I glad I was on call for work for most of that one. Not gonna lie, it didn't look fun. Yeah, that one was not. That one was not a fun one. This is what I was talking about kind of like earlier. Like, I wonder if. It's not like, you know, like these decks are all different. We're playing against, but I wonder if. Deuce. Oh, they're just, they're just not aggro around. I've <laughs> never seen somebody actually play Teemo. Teemo's good. Teemo's just fine. This game may end up just like the previous game against Heimerdinger with Heimerdinger, you know, getting way too much value and everything. I hope not, but we can't really stop that. That's what I've been really unimpressed with this deck is just the lack of removal. Like this deck, this deck takes super long time to win, and it's not playing any removal. So, like, if you just play a Heimerdinger, you win. Get him, Shadow Assassin. Get him. Been another elusive. I feel like it's okay to tap out. I'm 
use them for a round or two. Cool. Didn't kill my elusive. And then something I really wanted it to deny anyway. Yes, max health should be 20. Yes. I don't think that that's pretty low, no. The dragon remembers. Control decks are already the best. Like, you, you need your games to end. No. 20 is a good life total. I do not think it should be 25 or 30. Like, the, like you just... Like the, that kind of higher life total would just really just kill aggro. Aggro's already struggling. Like there's one aggro deck, burn aggro, and that's about it. And yeah, the games already go on really long. You know, we're we're in match number five right now. We're at about an hour and seven minutes, and like we're you know we're nowhere near the end of match number five. We like just you know like we're just started. Is that Hex Tech Transmogulator? What? Main deck Hex Tech Transmogulator? I don't think they played like a Flash of Brilliance that made that card. Deal me in. Dead in their tracks. Unlicensed innovation. All right, that resolves. We'll give it vulnerable so we can challenge it with the Twisted Fate. Is the uh, barrier lifesteal burst speed? It is burst speed. That's unfortunate. This thing costs six, though, right? Yeah. Rain from a cloudless sky. So we don't get to draw the card that we would have off of that vulnerable. So Twist of Fate scene, me draw one card now. Fortune. Assume they're going to challenge the elusive. Yep, that makes sense.
Domination is not experience, and instinct is no substitute for planning. Breathe in, breathe out. Alright, let's just go straight to attacks. Bunch of pick a cards. I'm attacking lowest power to highest power, so if they have, you know, the barrier lifesteal. Like, if they barrier lifesteal over here, they already t they take enough damage for lethal first. So to barrier lifesteal, they have to do it to not die. They have to do it on, like, the 3-2. Because otherwise, that's still lethal damage first. So, you know, not, not letting them get the most value of, like, blocking my 5-5 five five with barrier lifesteal to start with and going to 9 kind of thing. Um, no, harrowing is not common in Ash decks, but there is a there is just a, a deck that's Ash harrowing. There's like a combo between those two. But that's not just a common card in, in all Ash decks. That's just that's one particular Ash deck. All right, GG. They didn't seem to have a very good hand. You've done Tiana Harrowing? Okay, nice. I haven't... I mean, because you can you can only rally once. I haven't done Tiana Harrowing. I've, I've tried... I've done Tiana War Mother's Call. I had a Tiana War Mother's Call deck that was pretty sweet. All right, so there we go. Twisted Sin. I have to say I was I was actually kind of underwhelmed by this deck. Twisted Fate is obviously amazing. Lee Sin is pretty good. But overall, I, I was kind of underwhelmed by the deck. I don't feel like this is the best Twisted Fate Lee Sin. I think that I was just underwhelmed with a lot of these cards. Jailbreak, Ye Be Warned, Key Guardian. It's kind of meh. Pick a card. Very meh. Pocket Aces. Meh. Oh, like basically that, like that kind of stuff. I was, I was very underwhelmed by, by those cards. I just feel like I would much rather be going black market merchant and uh, pilfered goods and that kind of route. You know, Yordle Grifter draws a card, um, Slide of Hand draw a card. Like I, I kind of feel like I'd rather be doing that kind of stuff to draw a bunch of cards. Um, but that's worse for Lee Sin. This is this is a better Lee Sin deck, playing all these spells, but I feel like it's a worse. I feel like we're a worse Twisted Fate and just kind of a worse deck in general, but a better Lee Sin deck. But kind of, kind of rather just be doing all that stuff and playing Karma instead of Lee Sin, because like those cards with leveled up Karma are insane. Um. But so there we go. Um, that's it for here for Twisted Sin and an awesome early stream. Tons of viewers in here. Thanks everybody for joining. Lots and lots of new follows. That is that is great. Um, you know I don't have a follow notification, but I you know I see all the new follows on the on my on my screen. So yeah, so thanks to all the new viewers. Um, if you missed any of the videos, make sure to check them out on the YouTube channel over there, youtube.com slash hawktie. And I'll continue to do these early streams as well. Tomorrow, though, we're going to be starting normal time, 4 o'clock Eastern, uh, basically right now. Like this is, this is like 4 o'clock Eastern right now. So this time tomorrow, 24 hours from now, is whenever the next stream will start. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, though, you know, you're just watching this later on. Hope to see you uh, in Twitch as well. But thank you so much for watching on YouTube. I really, really appreciate that. The YouTube views have really gone up since the new set. And, uh, yeah, I really appreciate everybody checking out all of these videos. Feel free to keep, uh, you know, leaving those comments. You know, if you got any questions, like, during the gameplay, anything, you know, leave them there uh, in the comment section. I'll get to them. And if you got other, like, deck ideas that you want to see, you know, anything like that, any questions, comments, any feedback, feel free to leave it there. All right, but that's it here for uh, Twisted Sin. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.